Hello my dear YouTube students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to learn the question and answers of class 8 poem Benjamin Jones goes swimming. So the explanation of this poem is already done and the video is uploaded in my channel. So I'll be sharing the link in the description box as well as in the i button above so that you can directly go to the video and watch it and understand the whole poem. So in today's video let us discuss the question and answers of this poem. So let's proceed on. But before that, if you're watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. And stay tuned till the end of the video. Do not miss any part of it. And if you like it, do hit the like button. So let's move ahead. And there is a good news for you all, my dear students, that we have come up with Scorpio class Hindi channel. And in this channel, you're going to find Hindi lessons explanation and question and answer videos of class 8, 9 and 10 of Karnataka board. So to get the link of the Scorpio class in the channel, do visit the description box and find the link. And also the link will be provided in the i button above so that you can directly go to the channel and subscribe to it and do share with your friends. So with this, let's move ahead and look at the question and answers. The first one is comprehension from your textbook. First main under that is answer the following questions in two or three sentences each. So first question, what did Benjamin inform his wife? Answer is, Benjamin informed his wife that he would compete in the swimming competition and win the race. Okay, second question, why did Benjamin's wife discourage him? Answer, Benjamin had not practiced swimming for a number of years. His wife thought it was a foolish attempt to compete with great swimmers. She was sure that he would come last. So she tried to discourage him. Okay, now next question. How did Benjamin win the swimming competition? Answer. Benjamin won the competition by chance because he feared that the crab would grab his toes as he was swimming slow. Hence, to escape from the crab bite, he swam so fast that he was leading the rest swimmers and won it. Okay, so moving to next question. What do you learn from this poem? Answer. We learn that one should not underestimate the potentiality of others and problems in life can be overcome only with strong determination. Also, luck favors the brave. Okay, so moving on to the next main, it's appreciation. You have to answer the following as directed. So first one is the MCQ question and it is the poem is in the style of dash. Okay, we have to write the poem is in which style of writing? Is it A, a dialogue? B, anticlimax? C, satire? Or D, climax? So answer is option C, satire. Satire means humorous, funny kind of. The lines which makes you laugh. Okay, so exactly this poem and the lines in this poem makes us laugh. So it is a, a satire form of writing. So answer is option C, satire. Now next one. Next question under this is appreciate the following expressions in three or four sentences each. Okay, so sentences are given. You have to explain it. What does it exactly mean? So A, with others so fast, you are sure to be last. So what does this line say is or it mean? So answer, Benjamin's wife warns him that it was since years he had gone for the swimming practice. The other swimmers would be well trained and it was for sure that he would lose in the competition. Okay, so this one line, one sentence means this message in the poem. Now moving to the next one. His pace was so slow that a crab saw his toe and thought it would venture a bite. Answer is, as Benjamin had not practiced before for the swimming competition, he swam very slow that others overtook him. 
As he was swimming slowly, he notices a crab that was about to grab his toe for a bite. This shows his pace was slow. Okay, so this sentence usually shows the speed of the swimming, which was very slow by Benjamin. Okay, so it's exaggerated and written here. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. She fell in the lake with a splash. Answer. Benjamin was leading the other swimmers in the competition and won the race. The crowd cheered him. His wife could not believe this and in a shock fell into the lake. This is a way of exaggerating her reaction. Okay. Means uh, to show that how good she felt or how shocked she felt after listening or seeing to the situation that Benjamin had finally won it. She couldn't expect that she was not able to uh, agree to that situation like how is it possible for him to win so that shocking ex uh, situation is expressed in this form that she fell into the lake okay it's just a reaction to be highlighted over here now let's move on to the next main and its exercises under that put in the blanks based on your understanding of the poem so we have a sentence which is incomplete and we have some blanks and we have to complete it. So the one which is in red mark or pink mark is the answer. So you can, you can see it carefully. So first sentence is Benjamin told his wife that it was foolishness to compete with trained people as he has not practiced swimming for years. Second one, it was a free for all competition. Third, Benjamin's wife said that he would come last because he had not practiced swimming for years. Next, the swimmers galore waited for the race to start on the day of the competition. Next, the competition took place on the 4th of July. Next, the other swimmers Pass Benjamin on the right and the left because he was very slow. Next, the crab thought of biting Benjamin's toe because he was slow and it thought it would get a bit of his toe. Next, Benjamin won the race as he wanted to escape from the claw of the crab. The last one is. His wife fell into the water because she could not believe that Benjamin was leading the other swimmer and won the race. Okay, so these highlighted ones are the answers for your fill in the blanks. Now let's move on to the last one. That is make a list of all the rhyming words in the poem. There are rhyming words in the same lines and at the end of the lines. So we have to highlight it or you have to underline it or you have to write it down so let's see jones stones word absurd came acclaim crab grab guest possessed dash splash compete meet fast last place race toe foe dog shock so these are the words which are rhyming to each other. The same uh, sounds at the end of the words are the rhyming words of the poem. Okay, fine. Students, so with this few questions, uh, question and answers and exercises, we are coming to end of this uh, lesson's notes. And with this, we come to an end with the video. So I hope this video was informative for you all and you liked it. If you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Do visit the description box and subscribe to Scorpio Class in the channel too. And stay tuned. We'll be back soon with more such videos. Thank you.